See you next time. Next time. Oh, next time. Let's see what this is. Anyway. <gasps> Knuckles! Please don't be the Sonic Boom Knuckles. Who is he going to fight? That's why I want to know. Hello, Internet. I'm your only May, and it's that time again. Time for another death battle. Go back to where you said. Anyway, this time we have Donkey Kong, Guardian of a Golden Banana Horde, versus Knuckles, the Guardian of the Master Emerald. Now, before I actually start watching this, if you haven't seen the episode already, click the link in the description below. Go watch the absolute actual, sorry, episode, if you haven't seen it already for whatever reason, then come back to watch my reaction. Okay? Good. So, what do I know about these characters? Well, Donkey Kong, I don't really know him all that well. I mean, I know who he is, and I've played, like, a few games, mostly Smash Brothers, but I have done, like, some research about him. Like, I know he has, like, a coconut shooting shotgun of some sorts, and also finding out that uh, the original Donkey Kong in the, well, Donkey Kong video game at the construction site, uh, that Donkey Kong had a son called Donkey Kong, and then his son had a son, which is this Donkey Kong. So, yeah, something I did not know beforehand. And Knuckles, I know really well, mainly because I played Sonic games when I was young, and still play them now, to be honest. And I always thought Knuckles was kind of awesome. My first time I ever saw him was when me and my brother were playing Sonic the Hedgehog 3. We see the opening cutscene of Super Sonic flying by, and all of a sudden, just out of nowhere, Knuckles just shows him up, and like, BAM! One punch! No longer Super Sonic. I I admit, I always thought he was a bit of an asshole in that game, just because of the way he laughed. And the fact that he stole the Chaos Emeralds from you. Yeah. But, uh, in terms of who would win, I want Knuckles to win, mainly because of the fact that I'm more familiar with him. I've, like, it mainly nostalgia, to be perfectly honest. But just like in Goku vs Superman, I'm mentally preparing myself for the other one to win. And I know from what I've observed, a lot of people want Donkey Kong to win this one. And I have even heard this rumor about like, how super forms aren't going to be a factor in this. I honestly hope that's not true, not just for the fact that it would give Knuckles a bit of an advantage... I think, but anyway. The main, main reason I would like to see them bring in Super Knuckles is just for the fact that I know Boomstick would take the absolute piss out of the fact that he turns pink. I really just want to see that. Also, I will just say, uh, if they use the Sonic Boom Knuckles, which I don't think they are, I'm just going to start rooting for Donkey Kong. I don't care. And I should apologize for the last video. I made a stupid pun about Goku vs. Superman, but don't worry, I haven't thought of any for this one. I guess I'm just not that good at punchlines. Anyway, I I've just realized what I said. God damn it. Damn you, Boomstick and Barbara Dunkelman! Anyway. I'm sorry if you can hear cars going past, they always do that. Assholes. Play. Yeah, I'm turning this up a little bit. Wait. God damn it, Twitch! Guardians of treasure, champions of justice. And prove that if you've got enough brute strength, you don't need to be smart to kick some serious ass. <laughs> Donkey Kong, defender of the world's largest banana horde. And Knuckles the Echidna, guardian of the all-powerful Master Emerald. Come on, Knuckles. We've already established that Mario and Sonic-related power-ups counter each other. For example, DK's Strong Kong could counter Hyper Knuckles. So for this fight, we'll be sticking to the bare essentials. He's uh, yeah. Uh, everyone was right. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills uh, to find out okay. who would win. 
a death battle. Okay, it's not the Sonic Boom Knuckles. Go Knuckles! Now this is the law of the jungle. As old and as true as the sky. The ones that shall keep it may prosper. But the ones who touch Donkey Kong's banana horde must die. See, Damn I banana thieves. Well, the part's about killing, anyway. Long ago, an illegal pet gorilla famously did battle with his abusive owner atop a construction site. The game's name was Donkey hmm. Kong, and the conflict didn't go so well for him. After Ooh. escaping, he fled to a remote island with his son. Also named Donkey Kong, his son would later bear a child destined to rule the island. This powerful ape was named... Bull! You guessed it, Donkey Kong. Ah, same Being thing. Being a gorilla, Donkey Kong naturally loves bananas. No, 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 no. I love Real bananas, gorillas awesome. primarily eat plants, like stems and bamboo shoots, and sometimes termites to fight diarrhea. Too much info, Wiz. Well, okay. this gorilla loves bananas so much that he's hoarded hundreds for himself. And if Ooh. someone tries to take away any of his delicious golden treasures, may God help them. And yet his enemies have I am not touching to steal them. his entire stockpile several times, right out from under his nose. That's what happens when you hog every banana on the island to yourself. Just basic supply and demand. Donkey yeah. Kong weighs 800 pounds and stands Holy about hell. 8 feet tall. That's almost twice as big as a normal gorilla. He spends Jesus. his afternoons as if he were a Florida native by finding ways to kill crocodiles, such as crushing them with his sheer weight, mm. chucking barrels at them like his old man, or just straight up punching them to death. The strength Whoa. this ape wields is so yeah. tremendous, his very palms can shake the earth. And his trademark giant punch can send his victims flying beyond the horizon. But just because he's strong doesn't mean he's slow. He can unleash a flurry of blows so fast he ignites the hydrogen in the air, creating explosions! Holy this shit! Is similar to a meteor catching fire while falling through the atmosphere at 25,000 miles per hour. I'm telling Jesus. you, Wiz, it's only a matter of time before the apes take over. While common gorillas have impressed the scientific community by using basic tools, Donkey Kong is a little beyond that. Yeah, he's got a shotgun! Like, I know it looks like he's just carrying around a log, but no, seriously, it's a boomstick that Funky Kong somehow made out of a tree that fires concussive homing coconuts! It can fire in spurts, and if he shoots you... It's gonna hurt. Bad right. Rhyme. That's what the DK rap tells us. Ah. But what it doesn't tell us is that the series of grunts you hear from the Kongs is actually them speaking their own language. Really? I wonder what he's saying. Banana Slamma! Banana Slamma! Banana Slamma! Banana Slamma! Banana Slamma! Banana Slamma! Mostly just that. <laughs> Sometimes he sings too. From on top of the white mountains, uh, okay, I did not know this. Bye bye. Some of this show, but I do not remember there being any musical numbers, like at all. <laughs> oh, there were two in every episode. He's running a stall at Kirby. Your brain likely shut down while watching to protect your fragile consciousness. Ooh. Uh, good one, brain. I owe you a beer. <laughs> has done some ridiculous things. With a clap of his hands, he can create a shockwave strong enough to shatter meteors. Also, Ooh. I exaggerate nothing when I say he ate an entire plantation of bananas in a single afternoon. He's agile enough Jesus. to dodge arrows on a narrow ledge and tough enough to survive point-blank explosions multiple times. But most Ow. impressively, after surviving oh, the moon explosion punch, that punched isn't it? him into orbit, he used a fully charged giant punch to send a moon careening into the planet. He apparently expands his power by using both his bananas uh, and his body hair, like a monkey bird Reynolds. If he gets a haircut, though, he loses his power and looks really weird. Wow, I... He does, actually. Wow. Well, perhaps DK's cranial deformity is linked to his greatest weakness. You see, Donkey Kong is kind of an idiot. We're talking about everyone's an idiot in their own way, Wiz. Following his own treasure map until after.
after he found the bananas it led to. Or while suffering from amnesia, a pirate crocodile was able to convince him that he was a crocodile. What? Through song and dance. Donkey Kong joined in, singing about physical features he clearly does not possess. He's also uh. just as lazy as he is stupid. One time, he and Diddy were making a killing selling frozen coconuts and could have had all the bananas they ever wanted. But the simple task of just cracking coconuts open all day was too strenuous for the big eight. So he sold the business uh, for a couple measly bananas. Just bananas a couple, are really. The only motivator that seemed to work on DK. But they're also the only one he needs to bring out the big guns. If something separates him from his precious fruit stockpile, someone is going to die. Nothing hmm. stopping me this time. Not a do it. You're gonna stop because that's what you do when you're faced with an irresistible force. <laughs> Oh, come on, Knuckles. 4,000 years ago, the Echidna race thrived due to their advanced technology and talent for warfare. Now, that's what I call a pet! I know what I'm picking up at the pet store on the way home. <laughs> Just a heads up, the males have four heads on their penises. Uh, what? Awesome! I did not know that! For the power to command the world, the Knuckles tribe staged a raid to obtain the legendary power of the Master Emerald. What they didn't know was that it was protected by a giant murderous water dragon with tentacles named Chaos. And it just killed the shit out of them. Miraculously, yeah, a young Echidna girl survived and managed to seal Chaos inside the Master Emerald. The resulting energy output ripped the Echidna's home into the sky to become Angel Island, perpetually floating so long as the Which Emerald was actually in Bull, I think. Sonic lore, everybody. Centuries later, one final descendant of the Knuckles clan remained, and his name was... Steve. Knuckles. Hey, hey. So not the most creative parenting in the world, but hey, Knuckles is the lone guardian of the Master Emerald, dedicating his entire life to protecting the family jewel. <laughs> Doesn't and chuckle, I just said that. He spends most of his days sleeping and doing nothing, because really, who's gonna fly all the way up to a tiny floating island just to steal a rock? Why the nefarious Dr. Eggman, of course. As exactly. a boy, Eggman convinced Knuckles that a certain blue hedgehog and a fox with two tails planned to the steal thing I was talking about. Knuckles left to stop the thieves, and Eggman swiped the gem for himself. Not the sharpest head on the dick, is he? Without its energy source, Angel Island plummeted oh, out of man. the sky. Until Sonic the Hedgehog literally beat the sense into Knuckles, and together they saved the day. Forming a tense romance. Sounds like you've got an inferiority complex. Huh? I have a what? Oh, nothing. Never mind, Knuckles. <laughs> Since then, Knuckles has continued to try to guard the emerald. However, most people who try to steal it do. But yeah, pretty much. Old Red Red, he can track Gives the master emerald to... using his treasure hunting skills. And his special bond with the gem, which allows him to detect its presence and harness some of its power. Which he can focus through the ancient martial art passed down through the Knuckles clan. The ancient art of punch the crap out of everything. No, really, that's the answer to every single problem Knuckles has. Something in the way? Hey, if it works. Punch it. Need to climb a cliff? Punch it. <laughs> Falling down a trap? Punch it. Punching not working for some reason? Keep punching. You f***ing know he punches it more. <laughs> Taking this breaking and entering business way too literally. <laughs> Speaking of which, Knuckles can throw punches so extreme they create explosions by igniting hydrogen in the air. Sounds familiar. Oh, we can Knuckles do that too. Is fast, awesome. Capable of running at least 100 miles per hour. He can also take to the sky and glide, reportedly by trapping air underneath his dreadlocks. Although there's no logical way those locks are aerodynamic. I only can breathe in air. space. Hey, it's better than a tanuki flying with its nutsack. Then again, he could be twirling his dick. Oh, uh, move on, move on. Spikes on his fist, Knuckles can effortlessly dig through dirt and rock. Add on his attachable shovel claws, and he can even tunnel through solid metal. With arms that nice. stringy, it makes you wonder where all this strength comes from. Well, his connection with the Master Emerald is responsible for much of his more absurd attributes, like gliding and punching explosions. Nugs can <laughs> shatter boulders, dodge machine guns, ride atop flying jets and missiles like skateboards. Nice. Oh, and he can breathe in space. He's matched oh, yeah, with Trump episode. Sonic in okay. battle. Runs fast enough to cut holes in the ground. Is Ooh. strong enough to uproot massive trees. Hell, he's strong enough to throw this. With a single Jesus. punch, he can trigger a volcanic eruption. No, Sonic Boom, move on. So requires displacing pressure in a volcano's magma chamber. 
At minimum, this can sit around 3,280 feet or one kilometer below the Earth's surface. <laughs> Knuckles had to have punched the ground with at least 3.9 megatons of force. Jesus Christ. Three times more powerful than the highest yield bomb in the known U.S. nuclear stockpile. <laughs> That's cute. How about the time he punched the moon? One day, Eggman Wait. blew up half the moon and rebuilt it into a robot moon because, well, he gets off on that shit. Via remote control, and yeah. then actually change the moon's orbit to create a never-ending eclipse. Oh yeah, I remember that. Never episode. fear, Knuckles just dove out into outer space and punched the remote control into dust, causing an explosion visible from Earth and oh, returning holy the moon to its normal orbit. But having these abilities isn't enough to let him win every time, especially when his biggest obstacle is his own brain. Knuckles is illiterate, doesn't know Stop showing Sonic right, Boom. one time didn't realize until too late that he was eating a napkin. Hey, give credit where uh, it's due, Wiz. When he did figure it out, he stuck to his guns and finished every bite of that damn napkin. It's dinner and cleanup at the same time. He hardly ever strategizes before combat, preferring to run in swinging. Hey, whatever works. It doesn't. Yeah. Well, not all the time. And despite being mortal enemies, Dr. Eggman has duped Knuckles into allying with him on multiple occasions. So true. It's happened so often by now, you have to wonder whose side he's really on. Hey, his fist can blow the top off a volcano, so why waste precious time on things like reasoning? Uh, what a dreamboat. I want to be just like you when I grow up. Knuckles, uh, you've been elected governor! All in a day's work. Okay, now I get the reference. Hey, that's not how it. Shh. <laughs> all right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. It's time for a death battle. <laughs> not just yet. Not just yet. Okay. Uh, I'll admit, after hearing the whole Donkey Kong punching the moon out of orbit thing, I was really worried for Knuckles. But then they revealed that he can actually do that too and punch the head of volcanoes or something I, I spoke throughout that and I missed some of it I'm sorry uh, uh, and there's that clip of him punching Sonic out of super form so uh, alright uh Think more logically, think more logically. Uh, they also revealed that uh, Donkey Kong is fast enough to dodge arrows, but Knuckles is fast enough to dodge point blank machine gun fire. So I'm gonna count that as slightly better reflexes as well. Uh, this might just be uh, a combination of nostalgia. That I know him and the fact that I heard about his stuff more recently, but I'm going to say that Knuckles is going to win. But uh I don't know, I'm still trying to mentally prepare myself for Donkey Kong to win. If Donkey Kong wins, hey, good job, good job. If Knuckles wins, woohoo! A character I know from childhood wins. In, during my reactions. <laughs> right. Uh. Hey, right, come on, Knuckles. I believe in you. Play. How are they actually gonna start fighting as well? Oh, he's gonna eat a banana, isn't he? That's my banana, you asshole! <laughs> I have not seen that Donkey Kong sprite before! Hey, some... <laughs> Ow! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I remember that from Adventure.
And, yep, homing coconuts. Oh, no. Ouch. <laughs> Those coconuts are going to come into play later on. Oh, no. Yep, better. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> keep playing now, so. Oh, nice. Alright, there's no way Donkey Kong can keep up. Wait, what? And ow. Come on, Knuckles! Eat dog! Wait, what? Where'd he go? Ooh! Oh, that's just gonna piss him off now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Not as strong as you thought you were. Oh no. Come on, Knuckles. <laughs> okay, no. Wait, what? Oh. KO! Knuckles may have had the edge and speed and agility, but his stubborn strategy of rushing in only played into Donkey Kong's favor by keeping close and in range. Both were tough enough mm. to survive atmospheric re-entry and the vacuum of space, but only Donkey Kong has also survived an explosion strong enough to launch him into orbit in the first place. Knuckles oh. and DK may have punched moons, but both feats are not precisely what they seem. The moon Donkey Kong Punch belongs to the Mario universe, and is clearly smaller than our own moon. By comparing hmm. its size to that of Donkey Kong Island, we found this moon is approximately 2,775 feet in diameter, and weighs 9.9 .9 quadrillion tons. Oh. Knocking it out of orbit means DK punched it with a strike of over 3,000 megatons of force. So not quite as impressive as punching our real moon, but hey, still way better than what Knuckles can do. Knuckles only oh. destroyed a receiver controlling the moon's flight path. And although the oh. moon's orbit changed afterwards, it's unreasonable to say Knuckles is responsible. He has no other feet supporting this outlier, and the moon was previously established to move itself due to being part robot now. Hmm. Sonic Lord. Knuckles' speed wasn't enough when DK was just that much stronger and tough enough to take anything thrown at him. DK just wasn't a kid neighing around. The winner is Donkey Kong. Alright, congratulations, Donkey Kong. Next time on Death Battle. Wait a minute. Who? <gasps> oh, yes! Who is Wolverine gonna fight? Please tell me. Please tell me. Oh, hey guys, thanks for watching another episode of Death Battle. I'm Ben. I play Wiz, and next time is Wolverine. But who is he gonna be fighting? Be sure to stay tuned to our social media websites Twitter, at ScrewAttack, and Facebook, Official SA. We will be letting you know who Wolverine is fighting on Death Battle very soon on those websites. In the meantime, Hello. click the little annotation up there. Check Go and check out the latest Death Battle before, before this one Goku vs. <laughs> yeah. Superman 2. You know, check out the Death Battle playlist afterwards. Watch over, we've done over 50 of these episodes. I mean, it's a crap ton. So have a good time watching those back to back to back. And when you're done, you check out our other show, Deska Death Battle. The latest one's all about Goku versus Vegeta. Who's the better dad? They're, they're both kind of shitty dads. But who's the better one? We find out. And thank you guys for watching. We'll be with you next week. When we talk all about the Wolverine.
All right, uh, that was a pretty good fight, actually. Uh, disappointed to see Knuckles lose, and that is the third time the, a character I've liked from childhood has lost. So, oh well. Like I said, was mentally preparing myself for Donkey Kong to win. Anyway, the next time, oh, Wolverine. Uh, I've heard a few things about who he could fight. One of them is Baraka from Mortal Kombat. I'm not too sure, though. Hmm. I don't know. Be interesting to see, like, definitely. Alright. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, like, comment, and sure, subscribe if you want. And I'll see you later. Bye.